music. And the first thing mm -hmm. that she on was Killer Queen by Queen. She hears Freddie Mercury, she hears secular music, and a light bulb goes off. It was a moment, it was just like my whole world stopped. And I was like, I want to be like a sassy spitfire killer queen, you know? Doesn't take no for an answer. And just like ballsy, that's kind of what I want to be. Soon after Katie turned 17, her luck changed in a big way. It was through a contact in Nashville, someone who knew Boone Ballard, and basically told him, you know, there's this singer-songwriter girl, she lives in Santa Barbara, you've got to check her out. Glenn Ballard is kind of an uber producer, if you will. He was responsible for breaking Alanis Morissette, mm. for producing that album, Jagged Little Pill, which was just so influential and seminal at the time. I find myself being driven up with my dad. He drove me to Los Angeles, and I remember that I told him to stay in the car. I got this dad, I took my guitar in, and I played a song on my acoustic guitar for Glenn. I couldn't believe how good she was. And so I knew I was encountering talent in capital letters. I knew she was a star. And the next day, you know, he gave me a call and said, mm -hmm. I've been looking for you, you know? And so it was like, wow, that feels good. He wanted to start working with her, but being...